Greetings, brothers and sisters and other Hollywood celebrities. Uh, dropping like flies. They're dropping like Boop. flies. Listen, people are dropping like flies out there. I am Boop. Stop. We're dropping like flies around here. We're dropping like flies here. Ah! Jesus. Sir, two more just went down. We're dropping like flies. Too many people around here been dropping like flies already, and where's that getting us, huh? Nowhere. Fast. Biden's being a pop of a pop a, 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 a cop of, Biden's being an extremist. Crush that fly. <laughs> and so, um, I, uh, well, let's start here. Teenage swimmer dies during club meet in Kalapuea. I don't know if that's how it sounds, but that's the way they say it. You know, <laughs> in Hawaii. Um, 17 year old swimmer just died. During the club meet in uh, Honolulu, the swimmer has not been identified. Um, she was treated by uh, emergency medical ser services, becoming unresponsive. She was transferred to a hospital where she later died. Um, she was dead probably there, right? Um, now, what I'm assuming happened is cardiac arrest. And so what they're saying, she later died at the hospital, which means... The hospital said, oh, yeah, she's dead. And so that's when they're going to say the time of death happened, which is inaccurate because, you know, you don't need a doctor to know that somebody's dead, right? <laughs> you know, she didn't become officially dead. But we see this more and more where athletes are dying in the process of exerting themselves. You know, athletes, young athletes, young athletes who are in shape, high school, you know, when you're in, in high school, you can run all day, right? I mean, you're a kid and these things, and you get in your 20s, you start, you know, I mean, you start becoming sore, you know, different things in the 30s, but you're still in pretty good shape until you're in your 30s or 40s if you're, if you're lucky and you got the right genes or whatever. Uh, but I was still, you know, playing basketball at a high level, uh, you know, in my 30s, and I would, like, I wouldn't play for three months, I'd go out and I could still run, you know, like, whatever, um, physical strength and endurance. And these, you know, young people are even in better shape and they're uh, swimmers particularly who have good, you know, whatever, they, they, lung capacity and these things and heart rates and whatever. And they're dying in the middle of playing sports, right? I've never, we've never heard of this before. So there's this guy named Hank Gathers. He played for Loyola Marymount, a former coach of the Lakers. I'm in the editing process and I just thought I'd bring this up. I think he died of Marthon, Marthon syndrome or whatever you pronounce it. It's like a hole in your chest that your heart like explodes through. People who are tall, they have a certain, you know, body type, uh, tall and like gangly, are susceptible to this syndrome. And it's still fairly rare, right? And that's the only thing I could remember where an athlete died in practice or died on the court. And now we see it all the time. Like... You know, where players would just keel over and collapse and have heart cardiac arrest. And, you know, I've been around sports and watching sports my whole life. And just those few people, one, you know, one guy was famous, some not so famous, died of Marthan syndrome. Other than that, it's something that didn't exist. A Bergio woman died outside of her house. Her body lay covered in a tarp for hours waiting for police. Um... The body of a woman laid covered in a plastic tarp for hours just outside of her home in Bergeo NL. I don't even know where this is. Um, Canada. Um, and so that's how bad things are getting, right? We'll get to the death rate in a moment. He stopped to take a selfie. An hour later, he was dead. Beloved dad, Neil, was found by his wife 12 minutes as he po after he posed for the snap. He would do anything to help anyone and was an amazing dad or two sons but that didn't stop him from dying suddenly doctors watching for more cases after a mysterious cluster of brain infections strike kids in southern nevada um cnn getting it done here cdc uh serious brain abscesses in kids around las vegas nevada uh so now there's a new thing happening 
to children. Like a lot of stuff is seems to be targeting young, which seems, you know, pretty horrific. Unexplained rise in life-threatening brain infections in children worries pediatricians. Um, same story. So uh, this is making the rounds. Nevada Air Guard Group Commander Pilot Dies at 46. There seems a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff happened in Nevada, which is very clean air. You know, beautiful place. Vegas is not industrial, right? There's a lot of cars, but there's a lot of these Western cities have these, they're in bowls like Denver. They're like, you know, there's, there's a, you know, a mountain range that surrounds the city. And so pollutants, uh, you know, air emissions, and pollutants will just sort of hang there and they have poor air quality. But most of these Western places, they're so far between cities, right? Like you can drive for miles and there's just desert everywhere around it or, you know, whatever it is. In the West, right, there's no water and, you know, there's no, I mean, there's, they're empty states. They have these big population centers and then smaller farming areas and then just nothing, right? And so it's a healthy place to live is what I'm saying. I really liked Vegas, you know, despite it being, you know, I mean, I'm a gambler, but I just, you know, I liked it, that area in Utah. But there seems to be lots of people dying in Nevada. Judith Miller Antique Roadshow Mainstay is dead at 71. Known for her many guidebooks, she helped determine what was trash and what was treasure in the BBC series that inspired the American show. And now she's an antique herself. Knowing that Greg and I saved another family from going through the pain brings me comforts as wife following husband's tragic death. This happened in Belfast, Ireland. Um, the guy had a backache and um, he died suddenly after that. Phoenix mourns Phoenix Police mourn loss of two officers in a single week. Phoenix Police Department is mourning the loss of two officers who died just one day apart this week. In a social media post, suffering a medical event, both of them had some sort of a medical event. They wouldn't get shot or something. So, um, you know, lots of sudden medical events, which we all know about. Self-checkout machines now ask tips and latest squeeze for customers. This tipping thing has gotten out of hand. Like you, you're not getting waited on and they expect tips everywhere. Consumers are already contending with the squeeze on their bank accounts due to inflation are now facing more pressure as businesses introduce new tipping feature at self, self checkout machines. Who are you tipping? Um, <laughs> the machine or the workers at the grocery store? Like, you know, these are paid positions. They're not you know, waiting tables, which I did for years, that's one thing. And some service-oriented positions, you know, waiters don't make anything on from the establishment. Like, you know, I mean, like in some places, like $2 an hour, right? Um, so, but these other places should be being paid by the business. So this is the death rate here from, I don't know what it is. Um, okay, so here's the death rate, right, um, per thousand and you can see the death rate has gone up significantly um, over the years, going back to the 80s, but now it's gone up. Recently, it's jumped into the nines, right? So it was in the eights, um, eight per thousand or whatever. Now it's nine per thousand. So for every thousand people, there's another person dying, which is significant, right, in terms of the numbers, because we have, you know, 300 million people. And so... I'm not sure about my calculations. My wife and I discussed this, but I think it's around 30,000 people. And so that's significant, right? Every time it goes up another person per thousand, and it might be more than that, right? They might be downplaying the numbers. It might be, you know, whatever. But it seems like there are a lot less people. I mean, like if you go on a, you know, a busy road or people are moving to your state, but there are states where people are, abandoning right california new york other places and then there's you know just there's less available staff and i mean businesses are closing because not having enough staff and things like this right i mean there's definitely something going on here i gets it <laughs> one of my viewers sent me this my first look at the picture i thought it was a 
like a chimpanzee that is so I couldn't really see what was going on there because the guy's face is dirty. Um, I thought somebody had done a deep fake. And then, um, well, let's just listen to it. You understand politics. You think you understand political parties. You're all full of crap. You don't know what the Illuminati is. If you're Republican or you're Democrat, you're wrong. Why? It's this easy. It's called divide and conquer. That's why there's two parties and only two. And they're controlled by the same people at the very top why put music to this? I always say this. Why Why are you putting music to it? You don't need to put music to it. Like, in fact, you shouldn't put music to it, right? If it's worth listening to, then just, you know, listen to it, right? Oh, I got to add some. I got to add a beat, right? Like, you guys are not rapping, you know? It's distracting. It's off play. It's one of my pet peeves. Belong to the Council on Foreign Relations, the Bilderberger Group. They also belong to the Trilateral Commission. And you people don't even know what the hell that is. But if you did know, you would know that these are the people that control your world. My first reaction was, oh, he's talking about Bilderberger. Like, you know, I'm just, I've moved beyond these, um, these truther templates. But then I thought about, like, well, he's doing pretty good for a guy who's homeless and doesn't have, you know. <laughs> At least as far as I can tell, access. To, maybe he has a cell phone. Who knows, right? Maybe he's got an Obama, Obama phone. <laughs> um, so, you know, he's doing all right for himself. By making global policies that you never vote on and by which parties both serve and belong to these organizations and control your world. Now, here's how it works. Really easy. Divide and conquer can only work if the people that are divided are not aware of the falsely created division. If you're not aware of it, then it works. If you know about it, then it don't work no more. So a person's going to start, drop some cash on the guy. <laughs> He's going to start talking about uh, Freemasonic symbols on your banknote as somebody gives them some cash, right? <laughs> if you have socialism without capitalism, it becomes communism. If you have capitalism without socialism, it becomes fascism. And it's just that easy. That's all you need to know. That's why Masonic symbols are all over your freaking money. But you don't pay any attention. Ridiculous. <laughs> the guy basically is doing the job I do. <laughs> He's a little bit more low tech or whatever. We're all heading in his direction, though. <laughs> That's the you know inevitable end for truthers. Pilot intentionally crashes plane to get YouTube views. He's risking 20 years in prison. Um, three million views and the pilots, whatever, go back here. Three million views and the pilots suspected intention, um, intentionally crashes plane, whatever it is. Um, that's sad, right? You own a plane like, <laughs> and you want to trade that for views. Business owner makes 400 K a year selling jewelry made from semen. So many jizzy orders and so little time. Actually, once they're processed, they don't take that much time at all. I generally tend to do all jizzy orders on the same day. So out of my like seven day work week where I work like 16 hours a day, unless I'm going to get tattoos. So like I take a day off. Maybe. Okay. There's, look, she's skewering some dude's people's men's semen. <laughs> she's skewering it. Um, and so I don't know. There's the hearts. Semen hearts, some. Um. Super elegant, super cute and pretty. Once I make them on my end, they get passed off to my team to get a beautiful gloss glaze and to get assembled. We've been getting a lot of jizzy heart orders from the website. It's called jizzy orders. Um, good for you. You're a, you know, entrepreneur. The hot mic insult aimed at fellow anchor that got ABC 7's Ken Rosado immediately fired. He called his co-worker, he called her a C-word on the hot mic. Can't call, you can't call a woman a C-word and retain your job. IRS removes investigative team from Hunter Biden probe and move whistleblower claims is clearly, clearly retaliatory. Somebody was a whistleblower about this, and I'm not sure if he was saying that the, it was bogus or they weren't doing what they needed to do. I don't know, right? It's Hunter Biden. Um, but, you know, uh, like, if anybody's tax evading, it's Hunter, right? Woman sues Rudy Giuliani saying he could worse her into sex, owes her $2 million in unpaid wages. So Trump stiffed him. 
he stiffed her. I mean, it's just this never-ending cycle of guys who won't pay their dues. Pay the man, Daddy. E. Jean Carroll's lawyer says Donald Trump's CNN town hall slurs crossed the line. Uh, he talked stuff about her in his town hall, and now um, they're going to sue him again. So um, this thing about Ja Moran, I covered it on my last video. It looks like he might get um, suspended for like a whole year. And like I said, I think he's in the final year of his contract. Um, and he's up for a super max contract, which he won't get now. And who knows how this will affect his, you know, all of it. Um, Kwame Brown, your brain is effed up. And so, um, you know, this is big problems for him. Um, and I don't understand the decision making or even the people around him. You know, I told you back when he, and I showed you, he was acting like he was a victim. Like he was saying, this has been such a rough year for me. And like, like, like there was, he was going through something, uh, which is always a bad sign because he was acting like a victim. And maybe the people around him, his family and friends were saying, yeah, they're, you know, they're screwing you. But he works for a entertainment business, right? It's not sports. And it's got, you know, all these corporate interests, global corporate interests, and a huge brand. And, you know, it isn't going to um, tolerate this kind of things, especially when there was, a you know, one of these events uh, in Texas that happened at the same time. You know, uh, one of these, you know, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, so this is, you know, a bad thing for him, like he screwed himself. And so we'll see, but he might you know be out for half a year, a year. He was already suspended for eight games. And they all said they went lenient on him because he was young and, you know, whatever it was. Like I compared to him to the way he was treated, Kyrie Irving was treated. Kyrie Irving just didn't get the you-know-what. And the way Kyrie Irving was treated was like he was a leper. And, you know, again, Kyrie Irving didn't do anything like this. And he was, you know, um, but... Now that he's done this twice, it's um, you know just another celebrity meltdown, right? This is somebody who's, this is somebody who's, um, you know, just self sabotaged on an epic level. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stop here. Um, like I said, I've been doing a lot of outdoor work and things like this. Um, so <laughs> they're just so weird. These episodes are just getting weirder and weirder. I mean, I have, you know, it's always something different, always something new, and it's never good. I guess, the, you know, it's Hollywood celebrities dropping like flies, so it's it's never going to be good. I mean, it's I guess I suppose if it's a celebrity, you want to drop like a fly or people. But it's always something to do with how messed up people are because the system sucks, right? The system's run its course, and it's a bad system, and people are getting farther and farther away from being... Uh, normal and natural. But anyways, um, there'll be another one in two days, right? <laughs> Only spirituality will save this world. It's Paul Romano, definitely pointing from the apocalypse and the ascension. Everyone have a blessed day and be grateful. <laughs>